everybody, welcome back. Today, Jeff and I are back ourselves doing yet again another Tech Talk on the two new parts that we just released. One of which is the drive shaft lockdown for WRX and STI, as well as our drive shaft carrier bushings for most Subarus. We're going to be going over a few questions that we know are going to be arising with the release of these parts. So just want to take care of those first and foremost. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So I think first and foremost, our drive shaft lockdown. What does our drive shaft lockdown do? Um, it locks down the drive shaft's center bearing that is supported with a really soft bushing. And under acceleration, launching, the drive shaft moves around a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. um, and this locks that bushing down by kind of grabbing on either side of it and supporting part of it and keeps it from moving around without locking it down completely to where there's too much noise and vibration that comes from it. Okay. So locks it down. It's going to make it um, more well, stiff, it's gonna give it a, a more solid feel. Uh, what are some of the trade-offs that you might find with making the drive shaft a little bit more on the solid side? Um, it's kind of like an engine or transmission mount. There's a little bit of NVH that's induced with that and it's not bad, it's just different. So people would buy a transmission engine mount to make their car feel more connected to them. This is the same kind of thing. Right. It's reducing the drivetrain movement under acceleration and putting all that power to the ground through the differentials and, and all that. So that that's really what it is. So the trade-off is, is minor. But, Minimal. You know, if you like the way your engine transmission mounts feel, this uh, is right up your alley. I was going to say, if you've had our engine mounts or our transmission mounts or currently have them, you'll you'll know that the, the trade-off is very minor. It's a much bigger upgrade than it is a, you know, trade off for a, a downgrade. You know? And these are on the scale of NVH from an engine mount perspective, these are nowhere near as loud or okay. vibration as much as that. Well, that's good. It's a, it's a good upgrade with low, you know, trade off from replacing the, the OE part. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> with, with that said, speaking of the, the OEM part, um, I've, seen some other drive shaft lockdowns on the market from various uh, sellers. They're not very friendly, uh, I will say, with the install process. A lot of hacking and slashing. I know that that's not the case for ours, but can you go over how simple the install is for our drive shaft lockdown? Um, once the drive shaft bearing is exposed, you might have to move an exhaust, you might have to move a shield, depends on the car and your, what you got in the car. To put them on is, um, I mean, 10 minutes. It's super fast. There's no cutting or anything that's required. Um, that's the whole point of this is to create something that does a similar job to those kinds of parts, but with significantly less, less install. So if you're paying a shop to do this, you know, uh, the charge should be about an hour you know, pretty oh, okay. easy. And the best part is you can take them off and go back. If you ever go to sell your car, take them off and sell them. Some of those other kind of parts, there's no way to uh, go back to stock with those. Now, obviously this will be easier to do if you have a lift or whatnot, but a lot of us, <laughs> we don't have that luxury. Is it something that you can do while underneath the car oh, yeah. in the garage? Yeah, just jack stands, lift up your car. Um, it's pretty easy to do. The hardest part is getting the shield that is between the exhaust and the drive shaft off. That's the hardest part, really. Okay, well, that's great. So, sounds like all around it will be a very beneficial part for your drive feel. Uh, with little to no trade-off, you're just kind of talking about the, the NVH, and uh, sounds like a pretty easy install for the most part, especially yeah. just doing it yourself you know, underneath jack stands or something. Uh, and for a price that is significantly less. So if you're paying a shop to install this and you bought them, your out the door cost is gonna be significantly less, dare I say hundreds. 
dare you say? <laughs> I, I dare. <laughs> he dares. It might save you hundreds of dollars over. Okay. Well, good. Switching to Geico. So, <laughs> our drive shaft lockdown, fantastic for pretty self-explanatory. Locking down, making that drive shaft a little more on the uh, the solid side. But what about our drive shaft carrier bushings? What do those do? Similar, but they are what bolts the carrier bearing to the chassis itself. Uh, and so the factory part is a squishy rubber part. And again, it's to reduce noise and make the car as quiet as possible. But it also induces some flex into the carrier bearing as it moves around, up and down, it allows it to twist. Um, our carrier bearing bushings, they are a solid version of the same thing. And they just get rid of the last little bit of flex from the drive shaft. Okay. Um, again, they go kind of hand in hand. We expect a lot of people to buy them both together. Um, but yeah, what would be some of the main differences if you're, you know, if you're only going to get the lockdown or if you're only going to get the carrier bushings, um, is there a main difference between the two that you might find? Um, this might be more noticeable after installation compared to this. You're going to notice that kind of more connected feel a little more than this. Okay. The movement that these control. Uh, or, or eliminate, I should say, is not as drastic as that. Okay. So um, similar, not quite as uh, big of a change, but also much easier to install, even easier to install, and for a significantly different price too. The the lockdown is. Yeah. Uh, this. Is, oh, the the yeah. carrier machines. Okay. Well, you said you know you you'll find a more noticeable difference with the drive shaft lockdown, but you have also mentioned that. Most people will probably find themselves getting the two together. Uh, like, how big of a difference are you going to feel with both of them together? Pretty good. I mean, uh, yeah, if you like the way your transmission mount feels, this is going to be on par with that, if not a little bit more. Uh, the other part that we sell is the rear diff lockdown. It's kind of that mm -hmm. same feeling, and that's a pretty noticeable change as well. So it's just, it's kind of like all these pieces come together to help really lock down the drive train. So, I think wrapping up a few things here, um, how's the install going to be for the carrier bushings? So install on this is much easier, but with one part that's hard is getting the factory parts apart and off the factory uh, thing. Yeah. They're actually pressed together, so they don't just, it's not just use your finger statement part. You're going to need some tools, pliers, vice grips, maybe flathead, okay. something to kind of pop them apart. On cars that are older with a lot more corrosion, you know, it's a little trickier too, but, uh, you know, some penetrating oil, some, so, some sorts will help with that. Um, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Is this also um, something that you could do underneath mm -hmm. the jack stands? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's the same kind of thing, but you don't have to remove a shield. So it's a Great. little, it's easier than that. One part of the install that there's actually some adjustment to this, which is how we've kind of stepped up uh, the competition on this part is we make them adjustable. So you can align your drive shaft. Uh, something people don't know is the oh, factory yeah. drive shaft is actually not straight from the transmission to the differential. It has a kink right in the middle of it. And these have an offset hole to allow that to be adjusted. So a small yet important feature that just makes it just that much better. If the drive shaft's str straighter under acceleration, it doesn't want to twist off to the side and move around. So these things added to this just... Is that a reason why Subaru didn't make it aligned properly in the first place? I f uh, a little bit of packaging, I think, because of where the engine, the transmission, the differential all kind of line up. And I think for... Uh, Maybe a little bit of crash test. Uh, uh, if the car gets rear-ended, it might want the drive shaft to have a little extra room to bend instead of smashing the transmission. That's fair. Maybe. But they have a center thing that's adjustable in them anyway, so I, I don't know. Is I don't how work. it I is, I work huh? for Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to pick either of these parts up, or if you just kind of like to find out a little bit more about them uh, spec-wise and details, uh, you can click on the links down below. Uh, web pages are down there for both those parts, both the drive shaft lockdown and the drive shaft carrier bushings. Uh, until next time, though, if you guys like the video, y'all know what to do.